Hi, my name is Mia, and today we're going to be discussing turn signals. There are a lot of different designs on the market today, but this is how a traditional turn signal circuit works. To start, we have the fuse, which supplies battery power to the circuit. Next, we have the flasher, which blinks the turn signals on and off. Then we have the turn signal switch, which directs power from the flashers to this turn signal bulbs and indicators. Then finally, we have the exterior turn signal bulbs and the dashboard turn signal indicators. Okay, I had intended to share the diagram from the, for the Astro van, but just the front lights span a couple pages and it's kind of hard to follow, so I figured instead we'd take a look at this more simple diagram from an 87 Cavalier. Now this is just the front lights. The uh, rears are on a separate page, and um, they be, this kind of shows where we're going to the, um, the rears, which are on a different page, but we're just going to look at the front. So uh, we start up here at the uh, number 220 amp fuse, come down here through the flasher, and if you want to indicate we are making a left hand turn, uh, we're going to come down through here. This is our turn signal switch, and it's um, going to come down these this um, line here, and down through here. And this is our left front turn signal bulb. And as you can see, at the same time, um, this circuit also goes over here. And this is our left hand indicator on the dash. So power is going to come to both right down this branch. And uh, if we want to uh, make a indicate we're making a right hand turn, we'd be coming out of this side of the switch, down through here, down to our turn signal bulb, and also our right hand indicator. Let's take a look at how the turn signals work on my 87 Cavalier Z24. So power comes from this number 220 amp fuse, and it's applied to the flasher under the dash, which is. <coughs> kind of hard to see, but it's actually not the one that's closest to us, but if you look way up inside there, it's the uh, one with the blue stripes going around it. The other one closest to us with the green lettering is actually the hazard flasher. So uh, if we want to make a indicate we're making a left hand turn, we push the turn signal switch. That would allow power from the fuse and the flasher to be directed to the turn signals, turn signal lights, and then the side markers as well. And um, it's the job of the flasher to allow the turn signals to blink on and off instead of just remaining non steady. Most common causes for none of our turn signals working. Well, to start, on this particular vehicle, all four turn signals get power from this number 2 20 amp fuse. So we want to check that first. Um, and also, we could, if that is intact, we'd want to move down to our friend the flasher. And uh, if we don't hear any clicking, we know that it's bad. A uh, flasher is generally pretty cheap and easy to replace. This one's kind of in an awkward area, but it uh, won't be too hard to get out of there. And then uh, another possible cause is the turn signal switch itself, or a wiring problem. The most common cause of one or two of the uh, turn signals not working. Well, in this particular application, all the turn signals share the same fuse, the same flasher, and the same turn signal switch. So in most cases, we'd be looking at one or more bad bulbs. Could also be the switch, could also be the bulb socket, or a wiring problem, but um, most likely cause is going to be bad bulbs, so start there first.